All right, so did you do the derivative of x cubed? Did you get 3x squared? If you got 3x squared, then you got it right. Here's how it goes. So every time, this is going to be like a standard process. In fact, this is a favorite question of Westcon's final exam. They'll ask a question that will, they'll give you some function, you know, like a simple one like this, and they will say, um, find the derivative using the limit definition of the derivative. And they have to say that using the limit definition because we are soon going to get an immensely easier way to do this, where you're going to look at this 3x cubed and you're going, to, you're going to say, oh, the derivative of that is 3x squared. You're going to say that in less than three seconds. So you will be able, but for now, we need to show where things come from. So that's why we're going from the definition, um, which, you know, any calculus teacher is want, going to want you to do in a Calc 1 class. But by the time you get to Calc 2, you can just look at that and say it's 3x squared. And if you can't, you're going to, they're going to be worried about you. But we're not there yet. We're going to be. Here's what you've got to do now. You're going to say every time that f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h, this right here is the definition of the derivative which you must memorize. The limit definition of the derivative which you must know and understand. Limit definition of the derivative. Okay, so in our particular case, that means limit as h approaches zero of x plus h cubed minus x cubed over h. You do enough of these things, you're going to notice a lot of patterns. And in the future, we're going to take advantage of those patterns to simplify the work enormously. So this is x cubed. Hopefully, you know your Pascal's triangle, so it's going to be plus 3x squared h plus 3xh squared plus h cubed. If you're not sure where I came up with those things, send me an email and ask me. And then the minus x cubed is this minus x cubed, right? So this is f of x plus h up to here. This is f of x, right? f of x plus h, bzwing, f of x, bzwang. All right, in the denominator, we got the h. All right, so then that equals limit as h approaches zero. Every time, terms that do not contain h will always cancel out. That is imperative to this process. So then I get 3x squared h plus 3xh squared plus h cubed. Uh, and by the way, what makes that happen is that f of x is a polynomial. For any polynomial, that will happen. All right, now you will always, because everything that didn't have h in it canceled out, you will always be able to relate to reduce the h at this step. So then I have limit as h approaches zero. We can limit, reduce it because it's a limit that bounds the uh, h away from zero. I have 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared. All right, now I evaluate the limit by substitution. This limit equals all right, so x is not the variable h. So when I plug in h equals 0, well, there's no place to plug it here. So the 3x squared just stays 3x squared. When I plug in h equals 0 here, I get plus 3x times 0. And when I plug in 0 here, I get 0 squared. Limit, 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 limit. Evaluate, no, more, no longer limit. And this just equals 3x squared. And there you go. You have found the derivative of x cubed using the limit definition of the derivative. Now, the next one you definitely need to do on your own. Find the derivative of x squared minus 2. I wrote it differently, but it's the same thing. Just find that. Start with uh, f prime of x equals limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Start with that. Get your derivative. I guess I'll present the results in the next video.